And now to campaign 2020, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is calling on lawmakers to return to session later this week to vote on a measure to stop changes to the U.S. Postal Service before the election. The House Oversight Committee has asked the Postmaster General to testify in an emergency hearing. The White House Chief of Staff says President Trump is in not using the Postal Service to impact the election, but several states still say they plan to sue. Meantime, the Democratic National Convention kicks off today, and it will be unlike any we've seen before. CBS 4's Skylar Henry is on Capitol Hill with what we can expect. Political conventions are a time to nominate the party's presidential candidate and fire up voters. And in that way, this year is no different. I just feel the enthusiasm and the energy, not just about what we're against as a party, but really about a vision for America that's inclusive. But this year, as Democrats rally behind Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, things will look a lot different. Gone are the sports arenas filled with delegates and balloons. Instead, the program is mostly virtual, with speakers joining from all 50 states and U.S. territories. I will be speaking with the Statue of Liberty looking over my shoulder. Senator Bernie Sanders and former First Lady Michelle Obama are tonight's headliners, with speeches expected to focus on the coronavirus pandemic, the struggling economy, and the country grappling with race and policing. We're going to rally the American people around an agenda, uh, and I look forward to doing that the day after. Biden is elected. Former Governor John Kasich is also scheduled to speak tonight. The Ohio Republican will try to sway GOP voters who may be wavering in the support of the president. President Trump is trying to draw attention from the DNC coverage with a trip to the battleground states of Minnesota and Wisconsin. We're going to be working very hard. We have to. We're getting down to final crunch. We want to be there. The Democratic Party is hitting back with a new ad in Wisconsin. Now Trump is coming to Wisconsin. The ad calls the visit a political stunt, and it implies the rally the president held in Tulsa, Oklahoma, helped spread the coronavirus. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill.